Hi, my name is Mark, inventor of the Dirt Locker, and today we're going to show you just how versatile the Dirt Locker system is. So we've seen before how we've networked these together to create the scalloped garden on the hillside, where we've put them all together and we've pulled them into place. Well, today we're going to use what we call the planter ring, which is using the same product, just two of them though, and one being inverted and one being upright. And when we put these together, they're going to form a perfect circle. And we're going to put that into the hillside and it's going to protect the plant from the upside of the slope, trying to bury that plant. But also it's going to protect the bottom part of the plant and the root ball from when we get heavy rains and it wants to wash that soil away from those plants. Most of the times, if you're just growing straight on a hillside without the dirt locker system, you're going to be relegated to only a few plants. That means that you've, you've, you've got a pretty small selection. However, with the dirt locker system, that selection widens greatly because you can pretty much plant whatever you want based on where you live. So given your, your temperature and uh, you know, hum humidity and rainfall, the plants you plant are much wider in variety using the dirt locker system. And we're gonna show you today how we use the planter ring instead of the configured uh, terrace network. Okay, so now we're gonna just bring the dirt lockers up. We're gonna assemble them, put them into place, and then we're gonna backfill the hole. So we, what you wanna do is you wanna put the tongue on the outside of each unit. So on this side, the tongue goes on the outside. Sits into the slot turns now you can see even without any holding it in place it forms a natural circle so that's what you want now if you notice we have the back part of the planter ring is going to protect the plant from the dirt coming down on it the front is pointing down that's going to keep the soil in place and it's going to keep the root ball together so that's what we're gonna be doing here. And we're gonna just put the plant in and backfill. So the only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just even this circle out just a tad bit more, just cause I wanna see it a little more circular. It's not necessary, just a personal preference on my part. Anybody can do this. If you can get up the hill, then you can do this. And you'll find that it's really very little additional effort than just planting the, the plant itself. But over the long run, it's significantly less effort because one, not only is this gonna keep that soil from going into the plant, it's gonna keep the soil in front, it's gonna keep water in here, but it's also gonna keep, help keep intrusive plants out. So as this thing creeps over, it's gonna grow over, it might try and grow over the side, it'll be easy just to snap them off instead of having to pull them out of the ground. It, it works and helps in so many different ways. So if you're like me and you're into gardening and you'll notice in your travels, as I've noticed, that when you take a look at hillsides and plantings on hillsides, it's either always the same plants, the same monotonous type plants, or um, the plants that they do try and put up there just don't do very well. And I would, I would guesstimate that it's for, probably for the most part, maybe a 50% success rate. Um, whereas here, we have more of a 95% or better success rate. All right, so you've seen uh, what we've do, done here today. We've put in a 26 inch planter ring using just two of the dirt lockers and we've inverted one pointing the front one down and we've put the back one pointing up so now we're protecting this this tree from dirt that may want to roll down the hill we're also going to show you how effective this is in, in holding and retaining water for this plant so I'm going to start watering now, normally, I might go through the, the process 
And, and <laughs> if you plant it on the hillside, you've done this. You've, you've probably dug out a berm and you've raised that berm up and you've done that in, in hopes of that holding water, right? And then you start out with a, with a nice high berm and then uh, as it packs down and with a couple of rains and a couple sprinkles, the next thing you know, that berm has got a little rut in it and then you notice that it's no longer a berm. It is just a big problem that all the water is running down like a river. And as you can see in this case, the dirt locker is just holding that water right where we want it. Okay, so you saw what, when we uh, filled this up with, with the water and we basically brought the water level right up to the edge of the dirt locker itself. Um, and we saw that it was, it was holding the water in place. And what's really powerful about this product is that because it's holding it in place, it's, it's, a, it's essentially working as a, a pump to push that, that water down using gravity, um, it, but it's gonna go straight down to where it's actually needed by the plant, uh, as opposed to running off the hill or running down the hill. And, and, and probably on a hillside like this, if you can retain you know, 10% of the water you're, you know, of a natural rainfall, you're probably pretty lucky. But in this case, everything that falls in this circular area, be it sprinkle, be it natural rainfall, is gonna stay in this area. Now we're ready. So we're gonna fill it up again. Um, and, <coughs> and again, just to make sure that we don't have any soft parts, any parts where we're gonna lose any water over time. And you can see even though we filled this up a second time, it's holding the water just fine. So today we showed you how to put together the, the 26 inch planter ring. Um, we've used two dirt lockers, one inverted pointing down, one, invert, uh, one pointing up. Um, we dug out a hole large enough to put our tree in. We put our tree, uh, kept the root ball just above the grade level of the dirt locker inside. And then we packed the, the soil in around it. And now, um, and then after that, we filled this up with water. We did that a couple of times and we just wanted to make sure that we weren't gonna have any leaks or anything like that. If we did have a leak, we we're just gonna pack a little soil in around it. Not a big deal. Um, and now we're done for the day. So this plant, uh, we're, we're going to uh, expect to have fruit on it uh, by next year. And um, as I mentioned, you know, we would not otherwise not be able to do and put this type of plant on a tree, on a hillside like we did today. Um, please take a look at our products on www.dirtlocker.com and um, enjoy.